Bonjour et bienvenue. Please, everyone rise for the presentation of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Et maintenant, j'ai le plaisir de vous présenter notre proviseur, Monsieur Kelly, qui va vous souhaiter la bienvenue. Merci. Good morning. I'm Patrick Kelly, principal of Triton High School, and I would like to welcome each of you to the Academic Palms Investiture Ceremony celebrating the career of a tremendous educator, Madame Regina Simons. We can clap for her to start. I would like to thank all who are in attendance today for this special ceremony, including our students, Madam Simon's colleagues, her family, and the dignitaries here. A special thank you to Mustafa, Mustafa Sukart, the Boston Council General of France, and Joyce Beckwith, the President of the American Society of Academic Palms. We would also like to welcome the other officials from the Council's, Council's office. And additionally, we would like to welcome Charlie Simons, Regina's husband. <laughs> Rachel Sternlicht, Regina's daughter. <laughs> and David and Tammy Webster, Charlie's stepson and wife. The Triton Regional School District is so incredibly proud of having a teacher receive this honor. It speaks to a lifetime of work and dedication in the service of world language acquisition. Madam Simons is a fierce advocate for world languages and has fostered that passion across countless students. It is a testament to who she is as an educator that her first thoughts about how the ceremony were to be done were that she wanted to make sure that it happened at Triton High School and with her students. This is a recognition that she said from the very beginning needed to be shared amongst those she cared about most. The Academic Palms Investiture is an amazing accomplishment and I personally feel so lucky to be able to learn daily alongside Regina. Congratulations, Regina. And again, I would like to personally welcome each of our guests to Triton High School. Thank you. And with that, we have Rachel Sternlicht for our next portion of the presentation. Bonjour à tous. Je m'appelle Rachel et je suis la fille de Madame Simons. Hello to everyone. My name is Rachel Sternlicht. I am the daughter of Madame Simons. Um, uh, I will be quick. Uh, je suis désolée, maman, je n'ai pas fini mes devoirs. Um, I am going to be speaking in English now. Uh, I am so sorry. I'm a disgrace. Um, uh, I wanted to share something that I heard on the radio this morning on my drive here from Brooklyn. Uh, tonight is the first state dinner of the Biden administration at the White House, and President Macron is going to be President Biden's guest. They are going to be for the main course eating New England lobster. Thought that would be a fun little fact. Um, but they were talking about France being America's oldest ally. Uh, before anybody, France was supporting us. And this made me think a lot about how I personally see my mother as my oldest ally. And she is really emblematic in that way of 
the French culture, the French spirit. She is a fierce advocate for the language, the culture here in Massachusetts and beyond. Um, globally, I would argue, she is all over the place. Boundless energy. Um, and I feel so lucky to have spent all of my life learning from her. Um, and I'm, I'm so proud of her and I can't think of anybody more deserving of this. I love you, Mama. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, now you will be hearing from AATF Société Honoraire de Français officers Colin Weber and Sophia Latham. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Colin Weber. Je suis un terminal ici à Triton et un officier pour le World Language Honor Society et la Société Honoraire de Français. Hello, everyone. My name is Colin Weber. I'm a senior here at Triton and an officer for the World Language Honor Society and the French Honor Society. Tout est possible avec le français. Everything, anything is possible with French. Il y a 29 pays qui parlent français, selon Lingoda, avec plus que 300 millions de locuteurs de français, ce qui en fait la cinquième langue la plus populaire dans le monde. There are 29 countries who speak French, according to Lagonda, with close to 300 million people who speak the French language, making it the fifth most popular language in the world. Parce qu'il y a beaucoup de pays où il fait chaud, il fait froid, il pleut, et il y a beaucoup de neige, soleil, vent et autres météos, l'opportunité de travailler avec la langue vous attend, quel que soit le temps ou le lieu. Because there are many countries where it is hot, cold, where it rains and there's lots of snow, sun, wind, and other weather, the opportunity to work with the French language awaits you, no matter the weather or location. Quand je suis à la université, je veux étudier en France, faire l'expérience de la langue et temps réel. Après, je veux obtenir mes maîtrises en France pour maîtriser la langue. C'est très possible que je vais vivre et travailler en France. When I am in college, I want to study in France to experience the language in real time. After, I want to get my master's in France to master the language, and it is very possible that I will live and work there. Merci beaucoup, madame. Thank you so much, madame. <laughs> A cause de votre engagement envers le français, j'ai trouvé un nouvel amour Un nouveau monde que je veux continuer à explorer à fort et à mesure que je vance dans la vie. Because of your commitment towards French, I have found a new love, a new world that I want to continue to explore as I go on in life. Merci beaucoup, madame. Thank you so much, madame. Pour ce que vous avez fait à continuer de faire avec le français pour moi, mes camarades de classe, et tout ce qui vous auront comme professeur. For what you have done and will continue to do with French, for me, my classmates, and everyone who will have you as a teacher, merci, madame. Thank you, madame. Maintenant, je voudrais présenter mon ami, collègue officier, et deuxième professeur. Now, I would like to introduce my friend, fellow officer, and second teacher, Sophia Latham. This is very high. I'm going to stand on my tiptoes. I don't know how to do this. You're the best. Thank you. It's, they're all tall. Anyways, c'est très facile de voir une perspective basée simplement sur ce qui c'est en surface d'une langue. Ça, après tout, c'est ce qui nous attire vers les langues. Pour moi et beaucoup de mes camarades de classe, nous avons été attirés sur le chemin du français à Tréton par le son de la langue et l'attrait de la culture française. It is very easy to look at a language based on what's on the surface. That is, after all, what attracts us to language. For many of me and my classmates, the sound and the beautiful French culture is what attracted us to French. 
mais toutes les langues autour du monde sont plus compliquées que leurs caractéristiques sur la surface. Cette année, j'étudie l'histoire et le langage comparatif de la France et de la Chine comme une étude indépendante. C'est un cœur que madame m'inspire à poursuivre. Ce cœur a relevé mon intérêt pour le français comme une occasion historique avec des réactifs anciens qui criaient euh, le produit que vous écoutez maintenant quand je parlais en français. But all languages are so much more complicated than what is on their surface. This year, I'm studying the comparative history and language of French and Chinese, which is an independent study that Madame inspired me to take. Um, this has heightened my interest for French language as a sort of historical equation, with ancient reactings creating the products you hear now when I speak in French. Le français est une langue qui va profondément sur la surface. French is a language that goes deep below the surface. Quand le réaliser ou non, pendant que nous parlons en français, nous articulons le sous-produit d'une guerre entre les cultures, la bataille des Gallois pour garder le propre langue pendant que les Romains font des efforts pour implanter le latin. Whether we realize it or not, when we speak French, it's enunciating a byproduct of a war of cultures, the battle of the Gauls to keep their own language and culture while the Romans strove to force in Latin. C'était aussi influencé par les invasions allemandes et les cultures que les Français ont colonisées. French is also influenced by the countries um, that France has colonized and German invasions over the years. Um, les langues sont une, des exemples vivants d'ingéniosité <laughs> uh, humaine. Elles créent les histoires de nos guerres, compris géographie et interaction. Le français est un exemple de comment chaque mot en lui-même est un miracle. Language is a living example of human ingenuity. It is the history of our wars, compromises, geography, and interactions for millennia. French is an example how every word is in itself a miracle. Je voudrais vous remercier, madame, pour inspirer d'innombrables étudiants français ici au Triton. On doit simplement voir sa belle et très colorée salle de classe pour comprendre son approche extraordinaire à la culture française. I would like to thank Madame Simons for inspiring me and so many students here at Triton to take French. One only needs to look inside her very colorful classroom to see her exciting approach to French culture. Personnellement, j'avais beaucoup de questions et requêtes pour des matériels oh, de lecture, des requêtes que beaucoup de gens croient que sont étranges et encore plus de uh, personnes croient que sont simplement uh, le produit d'un intérêt superficiel. Personally, I've had many questions and requests for reading material that many people think are strange and even more people think is simply because of a superficial interest. Mais madame comprend la langue de la même façon que moi comme une code complexe et culturelle qui attend juste le, mom juste le moment d'être défrichée. Je me confesse que je ne suis pas surexcitée par nature, par la grammaire, euh, mais quand madame me donne des manuels de grammaire pour m'amuser, je dois admettre que son enthousiasme euh, réveille mon geek intérieur et nous nous sommes beaucoup amusés ensemble. Yet, madame understands languages the same way I do, like a complex cultural code that's just waiting to be cracked. I'll confess I'm not innately excited by grammar, but when Madame gives me grammar textbooks for fun, I am slightly, I'm, I must admit, I am, it wakens my inner nerd and we have a lot of fun together. Alors, merci beaucoup, Madame, pour toute votre inspiration. Vous êtes un professeur incroyable. Et voilà. Uh, merci, maintenant, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter Madame Beckwith, présidente de la Société américaine de Bones Académique. This is Madame Beckwith, president of the Society of Bones Académique. I don't know what that is in English, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> Fine. 
In my capacity as national president of the American Society of the French Academic Palms, I am often invited to attend the decoration ceremony of the new inductees, but very rarely do I know them as well as Regina Simons, my colleague and personal friend for over 20 years. Regina and I served together on the board of directors of the Massachusetts Foreign Language Association, and now we are both officers of our Eastern Massachusetts chapter of the American Asso Association of Teachers of French. On the national level, Regina serves as president of the French Honor Society, a huge responsibility, but that does not prevent her from presenting workshops in person or virtually several times a year at local, regional, and national conferences, the latest of which was centered on the 2024 Paris Olympics. Olympic Games. With everything that Regina does, I often wonder how she finds time to direct her annual French exchange program, serve as department chair of world languages at Triton High School, and teach her classes. Regina, we thank you for contributing so much to the state, regional, and national level to the promotion of the French language and francophone culture. Bravo and félicitations. In New England, and especially in the Boston area, we are so lucky. We have a new general consul of France who arrived, I think, in September. Yes, and we are all so happy to welcome him. This, I think, is his first Palm Academic Ceremony. Yes, and what a way to begin. We're spoiling you because not all of them are as well developed and as well organized as this one. But how lucky that you are able to attend. Welcome to New England and welcome to Boston and welcome to Triton. Je suis un tout petit peu plus grand que vous, pardon. <laughs> I'm going to, to mix between French and English, don't worry. <laughs> My name is Mustapha Secourt, I'm the new Consul General of France. I'm very happy and very honored to be here. And I am also, um, I have a great admiration uh, for your presence. And also, I can see, uh, the Regina, that you have a wonderful school and wonderful students and wonderful colleagues. Bravo. Bravo. I'm going to um, today bestow um, Regina Simons with the Palms Académique. The Ordre des Palms Académiques is an honorary title, first institute, instituted by Napoleon Bonaparte in 1808, making, making it one of the oldest civic honors bestowed by the French Republic. This title honors professors who, through their work, bring honor and distinction to the language, people, or culture of France. And I should note that in 2018, the number of individuals who receive this honor each year was cut in half, which makes it an even more impressive accomplishment, because this is what it is, an accomplishment. During your whole life, you work and you receive this as an honor from the uh, French Republic. For example, I have no decoration, even though I am a consul general. And today, I am to, to give one. One person who especially brings this honor to life is Regina Simons, who has worked at promoting the French language education for over 35 years. Your work has not gone unnoticed, and today, we thank you for your effort and wish to recognize how you have fostered French education and culture, not only to Triton School, but also throughout Massachusetts and New England. Regina, Regina Simons, your love of teaching is apparent to all. Well, just look at the audience. 
You have developed an extremely dynamic French program at Triton, and the presence of your students today attests to how appreciated you are by them. In addition to being a great classroom teacher, you have given students the opportunity to engage directly with the French culture by having organized 10 trips to Quebec City and being in the process of completing the organization of a 10th exchange program to France. It is therefore no surprise that you have received the awards for Massachusetts Foreign Language Association French Teacher of the Year, ATF Eastern Massachusetts French Educator of the Year, and the Triton High School Teacher of the Year 2015-2016. Wow. Regina Simons, you have also the 2005 recipient of the ATF Quebec Ministère de Relations Internationales Award to complete the stage of professors at the Université Laval as well as a Fulbright Teacher Exchange Scholar in 2021, which brought her to France with she taught English at the Collège Jean-Philippe Rameau de Versailles. Regina Simons has always found creative ways to engage her students with the French language and culture. Notably, I heard you have an upcoming annual friendly Bûche de Noël competition. <laughs> you have to tell me how I can be part of it. I come. Well, not to do it, to eat, but well, I come. More seriously, Regina Simons is not simply an exceptional teacher. She also works to promote French outside the walls of your school. This has included several activities, such as being World Language Program Coordinator for the Triton School, as well as an active board member of the Massachusetts chapter of the American Association of Teacher of French and the president of the AATF Jeunes Amis du Français. In, ad in addition to this formal role, you have given numerous workshops at conferences for those organizations and continue actively to share your knowledge and wisdom to other teachers across New England. At the French Consulate, we are sensitive to the challenges that foreign languages often face, especially French in public schools. We are thus grateful to have so many exceptional teachers who carry on the teaching of French in every state in New England and who work tirelessly to promote it among colleagues and schools and elected officials. Regina Simons, your list of accomplishments is very long and I can confidently say that you embody the very best of those promoting the French language and culture. Thank you for everything you have done. Pour votre engagement en faveur de la promotion de la langue et de la culture française, nous sommes heureux, cher Regina Simons, de vous remettre cette décoration qui constitue le gage de la reconnaissance d'un travail exceptionnel au service de votre passion et de votre école. Please. Regina Simons, au nom du gouvernement de la République française, nous, nous vous faisons chevalier dans l'ordre des balles académiques. I'm going not to hurt you. Some of you may or may not recognize the new member of the French consulate in Boston's office. Anthony Lentz was Mr. THS in which year? 2018, I think 2018? 2018 and is a new grad from the University of Rhode Island with a major in international relations. So this is especially meaningful to me today. Thank you so much. I, what a surprise that was to see you come in and to be decorated by you.
Alors, I'm going to try to be as short as possible. I needed to write this down because I get a little bit nervous. Monsieur le Consul Soikert, merci beaucoup. Merci de votre présence. Monsieur Favry, Monsieur Crespo et Monsieur Lentz, des services culturels du consulat. Merci, chère Madame Beckwith, présidente de la Société des Palms Académiques Amériques. Ce n'est pas toujours euh, tous les jours qu'on a l'honneur d'être nommé chevalier dans l'ordre des Palms Académiques titre duquel je suis non pas seulement reconnaissante, mais aussi consciente de la responsabilité qui l'accompagne. Je jure mon alliance à la mission de la Société des Palms Académiques. Parler français est une véritable chance. Promouvoir l'étude de cette belle langue qui se parle sur tous les cinq continents du monde fait partie de mon quotidien depuis plus que 30 ans et cela continuera. On n'arrive jamais là où on est sans l'aide d'autrui. Alors il faut absolument que j'exprime ma reconnaissance à ceux qui nous entourent aujourd'hui. Merci à l'Association américaine des professeurs de français. Merci à l'administration de Triton Regional School District. Uh, Monsieur Fordred, Fordred, Superintendent of Schools. Madame Bates, Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment. Monsieur Kelly proviseur de Triton High School, et proviseur adjointe, Celia et Pacheco, proviseur adjointe retraitée, Monsieur Brennan. Merci aux collègues du lycée Saint-François d'Assis-La Roche, avec qui nous sommes appariés depuis 2004 et avec qui nous avons établi un partenariat en 2008. Merci à tous mes, mes collègues ici à Triton, dans le département de langues étrangères, Jennifer Scott, Jessica Casasa, Olivia Cornell, and Michael Vanderslice, and Mary Kerwin, French teacher in the middle school. Thank you for being here. <coughs> Et aussi, surtout, merci à mes élèves, um, les professeurs qui inspirent les élèves tous les jours. Et Merci aussi aux professeurs retraités du Collège Triton, Anne Welsh, Shirley Faulkner et Carol Regazzini. Merci aux collègues et aux familles de notre communauté qui accueillent ici nos invités de la Vendée dans le passé cette année et cette année académique. Et surtout aux conseillers d'orientation Eric Champy et aux professeurs d'histoire Lisa Herzl qui m'accompagnera avec 24 élèves en France au mois d'avril. Surtout, merci à ces magnifiques élèves du lycée Triton qui s'engagent en classe tous les jours, qui prennent le temps de venir ici aujourd'hui, qui se passionnent par la langue et la culture française. Je suis tellement fière de vous. Sans vous, je ne serais pas ici pour pouvoir profiter de cette belle expérience. Merci à ma famille et à mon très cher mari et les élèves de français qui passent des heures à me soutenir pendant que je travaille. All thanks aside, in English, if I may, I would like to focus on a theme which happens to be the theme of the year in the France and in focus joint U.S. Embassy in Paris Smithsonian Institute project. La biodiversité, biodiversity. We have been connected with two schools, another school in Vendée and a school in La Réunion, just off of the southeast coast of Africa, um, It's an island east of Madagascar and Mauritius. We have Zoomed with them twice, once in French one and once in French two. We will continue some virtual exchanges with them in the future at some of the upper levels. We can only meet first period because there's a nine hour time difference between La Réunion and Triton. 
Or the theme I'd like to begin with today is Il faut planter tes arbres. You must plant your trees. Inspired by the 1988 Academy Award winning short film, which level three and four students watched in class, L'homme qui plante des arbres, The Man Who Planted Trees. It is the story of Eziard Bouffier, a 55 year old shepherd in Provence, the south of France. In 1913, the narrator encounters him in a region where the climate and landscape are as unforgiving and unkind as the few bitter inhabitants. El Zéar is a quiet man who invites the narrator to share a meal in his well-kept house. <clears throat> After dinner, he watches El Zéar carefully carefully sort through a large sack, choosing 100 perfect acorns. The following day, as he plants them, El Zéar explains that this is what he has done every day for the last three years. After he lost his wife and only son, he decided that this region was dying from a lack of trees and that he would remedy the situation. Five years later, the narrator returns to find that El Zéar is still planting his 100 acorns a day. There are a few more villages and several streams which had dried up are flowing again, bringing back the willow trees, the fields, the gardens, flowers, and a certain reason to live. Strangely, as the transformation is so subtle the inhabitants imagine that this is a natural forest. The narrator returns to visit El Zéar each year, and 34 years later, when El Zéar Bouffier dies peacefully in 1947, 10,000 people live happily in a beautiful region, unaware that they owe their happiness to one ordinary man. My wish for you this midday is that you will be as this gardener and commit to actions that enrich your families, your communities, your country, and your world. Make the lives of those around you more hopeful and more joyful. Celebrate the differences among people in our own culture and in all cultures throughout the world. Find the beauty in each country just as you will experience the beauty of France when you will travel there. Know the reward of kindness and positive actions. Plant and weed as well. Recognize sprouts of hatred and indifference and address them early on. You are just one, but you are enough. In the words of one of the great French philosophers of the Enlightenment, Voltaire, il faut cultiver notre jardin. We must cultivate our garden. Chacun doit exercer ses talents. Chacun doit faire sa part du travail pour faire progresser la société. Each person must exercise their unique talents and each must carry their share of the load in order to move our society forward. Our education is, after all, what helps us to become finer human beings. Thank you so much for being here today, and thanks for listening. <clears throat>